Hello students, this is Dr. Amar Preet Kaur, a lecturer from Jammu and Kashmir Education Department. Today, we are going to study the very important topic known as DNA replication. DNA replication means division of DNA into two equal halves. Okay, this topic is going to be very important for you because your examiner will put maximum questions from the same topic and it will be a bit hard for you because it involves a number of steps and uh, it also involves a number of enzymes. So you have to be a bit focused and uh, alert so that you can understand whole process and also memorize all the enzymes and their functions which are involved in this complicated process. Before going ahead, I want to make you familiar with the enzymes which are involved in DNA replication. Clear? The main enzyme is DNA dependent DNA polymerases. This enzyme is meant for adding subunits to the chain. Polymerase simply means, okay, uh, the enzyme that is uh, facilitating the addition of subunits in a chain. But here, what is a chain? That is DNA and subunits are nucleotides. Clear? Different type of polymerases, they are present in uh, eukaryotes and also in prokaryotes. I will not give you full detail. Uh, I will only discuss which is important for you people. Clear? Firstly, uh, let's discuss about the polymerases that are involved in replication of prokaryotes. There are three different types of enzymes DNA polymerases first DNA polymerases second and DNA polymerases third students already I have told you that a DNA is having polarity three prime to five prime is one strand and another strand will be five prime to three prime clear DNA polymerases third, it is the main enzyme which is um, involved in DNA replication in prokaryotes. The other two enzymes which are DNA polymerases first and polymerases two, they are meant for DNA repair and gap filling. Okay. Uh, remember it already I have mentioned that uh, the function of polymerases is to add subunits in the growing chain okay another function is axonucleases axonucleases what does it mean there are two types of enzyme one is axonuclease and endonuclease uh, endonucleases are those enzymes that can remove or break a DNA strand from inside while axonucleases they break the DNA uh, nucleotides at the ends clear so DNA polymerases they perform two type of functions one is axonucleases and another is polymerases please remember it polymerases they always act from five prime to three prime and direction is very important while as axonucleases they have they work or they function from three prime to five prime and and we are having uh, five uh, DNA polymerases known as DNA polymerases alpha DNA polymerases beta DNA polymerases gamma DNA polymerases delta and DNA polymerases eta. These um, enzymes or polymerases, they are present in eukaryotes. DNA polymerases uh, delta, it is meant for adding subunits at lagging strand, while as DNA polymerases eta, it is meant for adding 
sub units uh, that are nucleotides in the leading strand in eukaryotes clear so this was a small introduction about dna polymerases now let's discuss about other enzymes dna ligases the function of ligases is to join two subunits okay here dna ligases it joins two ends of dna clear now there are dna gyrases and dna topoisomerases in pro prokaryotes dna gyrases are present and in eukaryote topoisomerases are present now what is their function um when dna replicates the first thing is unzipping of dna strand or uh, take a example of zip which is present in your jacket or a zipper firstly uh, when you when dna starts synthesis okay what is happening the dna unzips okay and it forms a y shaped of structure but at the end of dna okay there some kind of tension is formed when the dna unzips or unwinds for the synthesis of new strands of dna so this tension or stress it is relieved by topoisomerases in eukaryotes and in uh, prokaryotes dna gyrases releases this kind of tension clear now let's discuss about the steps the first important point is origin of replication in a dna strand where replication starts this is very important because replication does not happen randomly there are some specific points both in eukaryotes and in prokaryotes um where dna initiates or dna synthesis begins these points are known as origin of replication prokaryotes have single origin of replication while eukaryotes have several thousand of replication origin of replications in their dna clear this was about origin of replication the second step is activation of deoxy ribonucleotides students you must know that there are four types of deoxy ribonucleotides and they are deoxy adenine monophosphate second deoxy guanine monophosphate deoxy thymine monophosphate and fourth deoxy cytosine monophosphate and how they are activated they are activated by phosphoryl phosphate okay and when they are activated these monophosphates they are converted into triphosphate clear and the enzyme which is required for this step is known as phospho phosphorylase deoxy ribonucleotides they serve two functions one is they act as a substrate and another is that they provide energy for polymerization reaction clear the second step it is unwinding of helix dna as you know it is double stranded chain and it needs to unwind before the replication actually begins for unwinding we need a enzyme and it is common both in prokaryotes as well as eukaryotes this enzyme is known as helicases and this is atp dependent what does that mean that means it will only work when atp is present atp is adenosine triphosphate or you can say 
it is energy reserve that provides energy clear unwinding of dna molecules into two strands it results in the formation of y shaped structure take a, again take example of your zip which is present anywhere like in your pullover so when you unzip it it forms a y shaped structure same is happening in dna and this structure is known as replication fork clear these unwinding strands they need to be stabilized and they are stabilized with a protein and enzyme that already i have mentioned at the beginning of lecture the protein that is required is named as single strand binding protein okay and the enzyme which is required for stabilization of uh, dna strands are topoisomerases in eukaryotes right and in prokaryotes we need dna gyrases clear now formation of a primer strand a new dna strand has to be synthesized um, up exactly opposite to the parental strands and the enzyme which is important over here is dna polymerases students it is not possible to form a new dna uh, with the help of dna that means we need a small strand of rna and this strand is a stepping stone in initiation of replication with the help of enzyme primases firstly we synthesize not we actually in dna replication the rna gets synthesized over the new strand where new dna change chain it forms clear once this rna is formed as a it acts as a primer then the polymerization of dna or dna starts beginning synthesis okay once the initiation of dna synthesis it is completed then there is no function of rna primer and it gets removed with the help of enzyme now students the final step it is elongation of new strand the dna dependent dna polymerases as already i have mentioned is the main enzyme that catalyzes the polymerization and it polymerizes the dna chain only in polarity of 5 prime to 3 prime okay this creates some additional complication at the replication fork because at one strand there will be continuous addition of uh, um, nucleotides with the polarity 3 dash to 5 dash and and this is known as leading strand and uh, here uh, there is continuous process the other the other on the other strand the replication is discontinuous and it forms short strands these short strands or fragments are known as okazaki fragments and they have polarity 5 dash to 3 dash and this strand where replication is discontinuous is known as lagging strand clear leading strand was that strand where replication was continuous and that had the polarity 3 prime to 5 prime while as discontinuous replication or you can say that replication where okazaki fragments are formed it has polarity 5 prime to 3 3 prime this these uh, okazaki fragments later on they are joined with the help of enzyme dna ligases clear 
DNA replication it terminates at a region which is having the multiple copies of about 23 base pair sequence and it is known as TER ter sequence ter means terminus sequence while as in E. coli uh, there is a sequence known as TUS sequence that means terminus utilization substance with this students we have completed dna replication thank you for listening to my lecture in case you have any question or any query you can visit my website that is www.amarpreetkaur.com